If you're in a position where you're wondering whether or not going to college really makes sense for you, I know exactly how you feel because I felt the same way when I was 17 years old as a senior in high school wondering does it make sense for me to go like i'm scared of getting into this debt because i i wasn't a person you know maybe like yourself that you know had this opportunity of having college paid for for me and i was gonna have to go take out a bunch of student loans and i didn't know what i wanted to do i just got out of like playing high school sports and like just having fun with my friends and now i'm expected to like hey, decide what you wanna do for the rest of your life right now so you can get set up and start your prerequisites and get into college. If you're in that position, I would say one of the best things that you could do is wait and give yourself a little bit of time to make a decision on what you really wanna do. And whether that's you graduate high school and you give yourself six months, a year, to figure out what you really wanna do with your life. Because one of the worst mistakes that I see people making is they just get pressured by their teachers, by their parents, by their grandparents, by society, because you, you're in this box of, I gotta go to school, I gotta get good grades, I gotta go to college, then I gotta get good grades again, and then when I graduate, I'm gonna have this magical job, and I'm gonna work there for 40 years, and then hopefully retire off like 40% of my income that I saved, which wasn't even enough to live off of those first 40 years, so now I'm in this position, and now I'm like, supposed to go on vacation, but I don't have any money and I'm supposed to just like hang out, watch TV, and like now I'm getting sick and I'm going through all these problems because I didn't really follow my dreams that I really wanted to. I went the safe conforming route. That's what I wanted to avoid. And that was why I personally didn't go to college. And so, you know, if you're wondering whether that's gonna be for you, it's 2022. There are so many different opportunities and there are so many different things that you can do now to be able to make a living and live a great life. Obviously, if you wanna be a doctor, if you wanna be, you know, a teacher, you wanna be an engineer, you wanna be a lawyer, yes, Go to college if that's your dream and those are the things that you wanna be studying and that's what you know you wanna do. And I would recommend before you decide to go and do that, go and find some people that are doing the dream career that you wanna do and interview them. Like you're deciding to do this for the rest of your life. Go ask them. What do you like best about your job? What do you like the least about your job? What would you have done differently? Because what you can do is you can go and gain insight from somebody that just did the path that you were already considering taking. So I would definitely consider doing that if those are one of the career paths you're going to take. If you're not gonna do one of those careers, I don't think college is worth it. I think it's a waste of money. I think there's a lot of other ways that you can learn a lot of skills and you know be able to earn a great living that don't involve going to college. And to me, I think it's really stupid that if I want to go or get a marketing degree or I want to go get a degree in you know business or business management I'm gonna to have to go pay thousands of dollars for prerequisites and learn about like world history and gender studies and like nonsense like that I'm gonna pay thousands of dollars to learn about something with debt that I finance to pay for dumb shit like that and then I'm going to finally start learning about what I'm actually interested in if I want to learn business I'm going to start a business. That's what I chose to do, you know, 11 years ago when I got into entrepreneurship is I learned through doing and I found mentors to help teach me the skills that I needed to know. And so when you're looking at, okay, whether if college isn't going to be for you, then, oh my gosh, what, where, where else can I go? What are things that I could find to be able to learn and become, you know, a valuable member of society where I can earn an income and have a good life and, you know, have a family and be able to, you know, go travel and, you know, go on vacations and make a difference in, in your family's life. If, if that's what you're looking at, there's a lot of things you could do. I mean, I think a better route for a lot of people, you know, is something like maybe trade school, maybe learning to be a welder, learning to be an auto mechanic, learning, you know, just different things that you could learn at a trade school for a fraction of the price of college. And typically you could finish trade school faster than you can college. Like if you're going to college, you're, you know, probably around four years, give or take to be able to complete that before you're allowed to start earning good money. And so in a trade school, you know, you might be in, uh, depending on the program you decide to take, maybe it's a year, maybe it's two years, maybe a little longer, depending on the program again that you decide to take. But if you choose one of those as an option, you can start earning a great living a lot faster than waiting for yourself to, you know, graduate college and some miscellaneous degree that, you know, people think makes them special when it's really just, you know, you have a piece of paper and honestly, I, 
have multiple businesses that I hire people for, I don't give a shit about their college degree. Why? Because I wanna see what skills they have. Like, who are they as a person? What are the things that they're gonna be able to bring to the table to make our company more successful? If that's the degree, I'm not really looking at that. I wanna see what experience do they have and, and how can they help make a difference? That's what a lot of employers are looking for nowadays. Obviously there's some, you know, big Fortune 500 companies that you go through this like, you know, all these hurdles to be able to get a job at those companies and if that's what you want to do, maybe it's the route for you as well, but generally a lot of companies these days are not really looking as much at what's your, you know, specific resume and your degree in and more so what have you done? What other jobs have you done? What are things that you've participated in that have given you the skills to be a productive member of this company? And so that's something else that you can be looking at. Um, again, you know, trade schools. And then another option is what a lot of people are doing nowadays, it's getting self-taught, going to events, going to seminars, going on YouTube University, finding people that have the lifestyle that you want. And if they're doing something that's of interest to you for their work, finding how you can also do that type of work. You can go on a website like, like udemy.com. There's little mini courses on all sorts of topics. You can learn copywriting, you know, learning how to write words that sell for companies that will pay you to do email marketing for them. You could write the copy for blogs on their websites, right? Like that's, that's a skill that you can learn through going through just courses, reading books and practicing. Another thing that you could learn how to do, you could learn how to do digital marketing, how to run Facebook ads, how to do Google ads, how to do YouTube ads, how to do those ads, because if you learn how to do that, you can help companies make money by targeting the right type of demographic to bring money into their company. And that's something that you can learn literally on YouTube. You can learn through Udemy courses. You can buy, you know, maybe some more advanced courses from different experts in, in the trade that you're trying to learn. So from website design, from copywriting, from learning how to code, there are so many different things that you can do to learn and get a skill that could pay 50, 60, 70 grand, 100 grand, 120 grand a year by getting good at those skills. And those are skills that, yes, they will take a little bit of time to learn, but within a year, within a couple of years of learning those skills and implementing those skills, you could be making a great living. And when you look at the cost, when you're just learning from YouTube and you're learning from little mini courses like on Udemy, or if you find an expert in a niche and they have a course that's, you know, say three grand or $5,000 or whatever that, you know, amount is, you typically can for literally under 10 grand learn skills like those and be able to go make a great living for yourself. And so that's just another option that you can take. So really when it, what it comes down to is what do you want as an individual? I think the worst thing that people can do is make a decision based on the pressure that they feel from their friends, from their family, from their teachers. My teacher said that I was stupid because I didn't wanna to go to college and that I was gonna end up being broke and I was gonna end up in poverty. Literally, like this is ridiculous that teachers told me this, but they told me that I was gonna end up in poverty because I wasn't gonna to go to college because I had other plans in mind. Now, again, if that's the course for you, go that route. But the fact is, you know, we're in a time where you can earn money online, you could earn money, you know, working for different companies. People aren't looking at college degrees as seriously as they have been in the past. This isn't your parents' age anymore. And so looking at, you know, what do you want your life to look like? That's what I would be looking at more than like whether you go to college or not. And figuring this out is like, what do you want your life to look like? Do you wanna work in an office? Do you wanna work from home? Do you wanna, you know, kind of work on the go? Do you like variety in the way that you want your work to be? Do you want to have to go get educated for multiple years before you start earning income? Any of the, the careers that you're considering going into, I would recommend finding people that are doing it already, interview them. Again, what do you like the most? What do you like the least? What would you have done differently? What advice would you give me? And if you just do some of those simple tasks, then you could get a better understanding of would you actually like doing that type of work? Maybe you could shadow them for a day. Obviously, if they're a doctor and they're doing surgery, you might not be able to do that. But if they're, you know, somebody that does, uh, that builds websites, hey, I kind of, I'm kind of interested in that. W would you mind if I, you know, came and just watched you work and just saw like how, how you're doing this? And, you know, if there's anything I could do to bring value to you during that time, like I would love to, I'll, I'll be quiet. I just want to see, see how you're doing this. I want to see, I'm looking at this as a potential career, right? So that's what I would do if I was considering going to college and I really wasn't unsure. You got to do what's going to be best for you and only you are going to be able to know that. And if it comes down to to, you're a little bit indecisive, you don't know what you wanna do right out of high school, you're right about to graduate and you're unsure, it's fine to take six months, take 12 months off and really make a decision from that point of, 
I know where I wanna go spend my time. And it's okay if you change your mind a couple times, but don't go to college just because you're being pressured and forced to and go load up a bunch of student loan debt that you're gonna regret having later. So hopefully that helps. You know, if you have any questions for me, put those in the comment section below. I'd be curious also to hear, you know, whether you went to college, was it worth it for you? Or if you didn't go to college, what's, what's your opinion on that? Would love to hear from you on that as well. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video.